Join the Central Coast Social Network. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. KZUZ. Jeff and Jeremy here. It's the Red Zone Challenge. We're brought to you by Swing Time at Dairy Creek and the Poor House in Paso Robles, where tonight it's classic rock on the heavier side with the heavy cats. And tomorrow night, Jeff's new favorite oh. band, Big Wheel Cobra. DWC. Tomorrow night. <laughs> Formerly known as True. Truth About Seafood. It's kind of a spinoff, um, but they're good. They're fun. Uh, that's tomorrow Take night. Two things from the '80s that were pretty hot: big wheels and cobras, and make it your band name. That's how you roll. Hey, Kevin, how you doing? Not I'm doing well. Ready. How about you guys? Doing very, very well. Uh, well, the weather is definitely going to be impacting playing golf this weekend, right? I mean, I guess tomorrow is probably not going to be that bad. Sweet uh, Sunday, though, they're talking about a chance of lightning, and that's probably still something. Uh, that you don't recommend people doing is playing light, uh, golf in the lightning, right? It's kind of like parking your car in the garage well, with it running with the door closed. <laughs> no, as long as, that's fine, right? As long as there's no snow right behind you. Yes. No, 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 no snow, or you don't. You weren't like have a car that's twenty years old and you've been kicking around the beach for twenty yeah. years. Well, what they say is, uh, you know, it's it's okay to play in a, in a thunderstorm because not even God can hit a one iron. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, you definitely don't want to. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be out there in a thunderstorm because you're you're holding, you know, what thirteen separate uh, lightning rods, and we've had some strikes out here in the past. So yeah, I would have stay I ever, away. Kevin, have I ever shared with you the time I was killing some time in Reno, <laughs> and I thought I was um, I was struck by lightning. <laughs> Yeah, but I think you got hit with a a sprinkler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying. I was trying to come in. It was before it was getting dark, and in, in Reno, in the summertime, <laughs> I wish I you get seen these, your face. You you get these. You get these. These like it's monsoonal influence that comes mm-hmm. up through the valley, and um and it, it's it, it's a pretty regular occurrence. In the afternoon, you'll get some weather. Well, you could hear the rumbling off in the distance. And um, I just had one hole to play. It was the last hole. It was the 18th hole. It was starting to get dark. They were getting ready to close the course. And as you know, sprinklers come on at that time. Mm-hmm. And um, and so I I think that the guys in the pro shop uh, did it on purpose. That they had some kind of way to get the sprinkler going. Because how would they know? Like I like they must do this every day to the last guy on the tee box, especially on on lightning and thunder. Probably not to every last get, guy, but just the ones they that want to get the hint to leave. Yeah, right. The, the ones they want to like, like, dude. We want to close the course. We want to yeah. get out of here. Come we'll on, drink a we got stuff to do. It's Reno. The last cart. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. I was walking by the way that day. Oh well, then. <laughs> They should have just left me to my own device. Like I got my car and left. You know, just leave the gate open. Um, and uh, and I was waiting for friends to come in on a later flight because I took an earlier flight. And I went over to the golf course, and it was right by the airport. I forget what the name of the golf course is. And thunder and lightning up in the air. And then right as I'm in my backswing, boom! <laughs> Sprinkler stream hits me in, right in the dead of my back, and I thought I was hit by lightning. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what; those uh, those sprinklers, when they come on at full bore, that's they pack a serious punch. Yes. So I can understand why. Yes, and you're not you expecting it, it. You're not. It was it was like totally blindsided, and there's there's thunder and lightning in the air. You know, so of course you're going to think, okay, well, I must have just got struck by lightning. I dropped down to the ground and sprawled out like <laughs> like like Tom and Jerry, like you know, like when when Tom runs into a brick wall. I sprawled I got struck out. by lightning and spoiled myself. And then, and then I, I, I realized, wait, I'm, I'm still alive. I wasn't struck, struck, struck by lightning. I get up and I look to see if anybody was looking, and I didn't think it. I, 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 I think if somebody was looking, they'd ask if I was okay or something. And nobody saw it, and I was like, oh, thank God. And I just, I, I didn't care where I hit the ball. I just said, I'm getting off this golf course, and I walked in. I did not play out the yeah. hole. Uh, well, Leslie that was probably smart. isn't going to be able to join us today, but she's going to take all the home teams. So knowing that in, a, in advance, which uh, we're getting close to her, Kevin. I caught you, but we're still two games back from Leslie. Ooh. She sits at thirty six and twenty five after going three and three last week. You went three and three last week as well. You're now at thirty four and twenty seven. 
I was I went four and two. I'm at thirty four and twenty seven. And Jeff two and four, twenty nine and thirty two. The order will be Jeremy. Now that we know Leslie's Kevin, and then Jeff. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, but but swing time is open. If you want to go out, you want to hit the balls. You guys are all covered there, right? Oh, yeah. and they, they have a big metal roof, so the, it's going to hit the metal roof before it hits you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll be you should be fine in there. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to make the call when it happens. Uh, but yeah, booze is back, so no better way to right go hit some balls into the rainy abyss with a uh, football on and some yeah nice good drinks. And the roof keeps you dry. Nice. Yeah, All right. and there's heaters, so you'll stay warm. Yeah. So here we go, week 20, Red Zone. These are the uh, the four games. Uh, the first game, Houston traveling out to Baltimore. Vegas has got them at nine and a half point, guys. Um, I, you know, this is there's two games this week, and this is one of them that I'm not quite sure about, but I feel a little bit more confident in Baltimore than the other one. So I'm, I'm going to go Ravens. Even though Houston has looked really well. I mean, they've looked great. And they're just a young team, and you, you just don't really know. They haven't been in this situation before, so you just don't know what to expect. But I still like – I'll trust Vegas and go with this one. Kevin? No, boy, Kevin. Uh, I agree. I think I'm going to go with Baltimore as well. Um, they surprised all of us last uh, – sorry. Houston surprised all of us last week. You know, everyone picking Cleveland to win, and we called it. Of course, they're going to lose. Which they did. So, Houston looked good, but yeah, I agree. I'm going to go with Baltimore. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that you guys are so close, and you guys are very close to Leslie too. You're only two games off of Leslie. Now, keep in mind, guys, she took all home teams, and Baltimore is a home team. Um, mm-hmm. I have to stick my neck out and um, go against uh, Vegas odds in pretty much every game moving forward, and um, that's fine. I, 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 I have. I'm comfortable with. With this one, the weather not supposed to be great, and I don't think Houston does well on the road in weather situations, whereas the weather is supposed to be cold. And Houston, boy, they are a different team. Like when they play at home in the in the cozy confines of a dome, <laughs> it's a covered stadium, man, CJ Stroud slinging that thing all over the place. But look what happened when they played the Jets in New York. That was a brutal matchup for them. I do expect Baltimore to win, but because I need to Make up ground. I'm going to take Houston on this one because I, like I said last week, I believe they're a team of destiny. And when they played earlier this season, they played in week one. These two teams did. It was 25 to nine, and Houston was just getting their feet underneath them. Now they've found an identity, and, and I, I, I like Houston in a chance to upset on this one. But if I didn't have to make up ground, I would be picking Baltimore. Yeah, no. I mean, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna go, if you're gonna pick one or two to go opposite, why not this one? Next up, uh, Green Bay traveling out to Wait, San I gotta Francisco. Do the, I got to do the Texan. Oh, you do. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, you're the only one. Howdy, partners! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I can't believe I almost screwed that up. All right, Green Bay traveling out to San wow. Francisco. Forty uh, ers are a ten point favorite on this one, Levi Stadium. What's the weather going to be like? It's going to be raining, right? I mean, they're getting the same weather we're getting. But come on. How do you go against it's San Francisco? Be a mess up there. How yeah, do you go against see. San Francisco, Kevin? Long boy, Kevin. I don't know how I'm going to go against them, but um, I think with the weather, it will be an equalizer. I don't think that it's – I think it's going to be low scoring, but because San Francisco's defense is pretty stout and they have the better run game, um, I'm going to go with San Francisco on that one. You noticed that, huh? You played me this year. I bet you ended up beating me, so I don't want to bring that up. Uh, Jeff. Do they have the better run game? Yes. And you're like, oh, well, CMC, come on. <laughs> and they had the better run game till he did a little tweaking of a, of a leg situation, and Elijah Mitchell had to come into the game uh, a, a few weeks ago. Uh, now, I'm gr- I, granted, I think CMC, he's probably back to full health because that guy is bionic, and he does this thing all the time. But Aaron Jones last week scored three touchdowns against the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, you're five games in, behind this. You don't want to be in six. Dallas. I, in Dallas. Don't go in against Dallas. the 49ers in this Dallas. week. I'm this going is... against the 49ers. No, Give not. me the Green Bay Packers. Oh, my God. Yes, Green Bay. Dude, Green Bay. You know there are three... There are there there are four quarterbacks this week um, 
four starting quarterbacks this weekend. Oh, no, I'm sorry. All the starting quarterbacks this weekend were first-round picks, except for one, Brock Purdy. He was Mr. Insignificant. He was yeah, and they're talking pick. about him being the MVP he this his, year. They, they, let, yeah, they, were talking, they were talking about him being the MVP until they played the Ravens. They were talking about him being the MVP. <laughs> He's not even the MVP on his own team. How can you be the MVP of the league? Give me the Green Bay Packers! Uh, give me the Packer poo. Oh, you want some sausage, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, halfway through it. Here we go. Wow, Tampa Bay terrible. heading out to Detroit. Detroit is a six-point favorite on this. Uh, some advice from uh, head coach. Oops, sorry, wrong button there, Todd. Um, the weather has been a factor in some of the playoff games, even for the most prepared teams uh, today. It's uh, 13 in uh, Detroit, which doesn't compare to some of the temperatures we tend to go up to. Any special plans to acclimate the team to not only uh, endure, but perform in those kind of frigid temperatures should you face them in Detroit? You do know we play indoors, right? And they got a dome. <laughs> I don't um, No, nothing planned. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and Tampa Bay's been playing great, but I think Detroit's been playing a little bit better. They're a six point favorite at home. I'll take the Lions. Lord boy, Kevin. <laughs> well, going against the Lions last week bit me in the butt, so uh, I don't think I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take the Lions as well. I, I guess Jeff's going Tampa Bay. <laughs> Baker time. <laughs> it's Baker time. <laughs> you know, I feel like we're out in a boat and you fell overboard and you're begging for the life ring and we're just all laughing at you. Yeah. Like, ah, sorry, dude. <laughs> That's okay. One of these will hit. One of these will hit. You're using the trolling motor to pull away from him. You got it. You got is, it. All I need is three of four of these to hit, right? And then I, I make up ground. Um, no, Tampa Bay looked amazing, yeah, amazing yeah. against the Philadelphia Eagles. I like Eagles. Tampa Bay winning much more than like, I like Green they, Bay winning. But Their defense was clicking. The only thing that I thought that they, they didn't look good doing was there was a lull in the middle of the game, mostly the second and third quarter, where they had opportunity after opportunity and they weren't scoring. They weren't taking advantage of it. I don't know that Detroit's defense is that much better, especially with the, in the passing game. Uh, they can be exposed. So I do think that Tampa Bay has a legit chance, better than Baltimore, or better than uh, Houston and Green Bay, uh, according to Vegas, because they're only a six-point dog in Detroit. But give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Arr, mateys. Yeah, there it is, the Buccaneer. That's, that's definitely the game that I think could be the upset for sure. Yeah, That's, I, that's a tough one, in my opinion. Oh, what about the next one? No, this one's uh, really uh, tough. Uh, I mean, this is... Uh, the next one. The next one's like a pick em, right? This yeah, is where I don't, you guys make your ground. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Kansas City traveling out to Buffalo. Buffalo's a two-and-a-half-point favorite. Leslie's out in front now, remember, guys. 36 wins. Uh, she's got two games on Kevin and I. She likes the home team. She likes the... The Buffalo Bills. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like flipping a coin. I feel like the experience is obviously there with Mahomes and the Chiefs. I think they're playing because I think they're pissed off. I think they're playing for something. But Buffalo has been on fire. They're obviously playing for something. <sighs> what do you think, Kevin? You want to help me? <laughs> Why don't you make your pick? <laughs> You got to pick yours first, buddy. Yeah. I'm just waiting to hear what you say. Two and a half point favorite, the Buffalo Bills at home. I'm an idiot. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Kansas City and the experience. Long boy, well, Kevin. I'm going to go opposite of you. As a Raider fan, I will not be picking Kansas City. Um, they're not playing at home, which was what gave them the advantage, I think, last week. Uh, they're playing in Buffalo. Granted, it's going to be cold as, you know, crazy. Cra- cold as all hell probably again. Colder than a but... witch's tit. Yep. Uh, I wasn't going to say that on the radio, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You don't have to. Uh, I can say it. No, good. Which is the exist, so they don't, they don't get offended, so we can say that. Not, not according to Candace <laughs> oh, Owens. No, somebody might identify as one. Um, <laughs> I think that Buffalo is going to be coming out to avenge last year's loss, so. I'll, I'll go Buffalo. <laughs> Two buffs and a KC, the, Jeffrey. The better part of the half, the last half decade, the Buffalo Bills have been trying to avenge the losses <laughs> to the Kansas City Chiefs. 
The Chiefs I, only They have a better exist. quarterback now, though. The, the Chiefs only exist to break the hearts of Buffalo Bills fans in January, and they do it every single January. Them and sometimes the Bengals. Give me the Chiefs. The B- Bills are banged up, by the way. Now, offensive, they've got, I know Gabe Davis isn't going to play, but they've they've got most pieces offensively. But defense, they're a mash unit now. And I think Kansas City can expose that. Rasheed Rice is coming on as a threat. Um, Pacheco plays with fire. I mean, I I think this is where Kansas City finds themselves. Kelsey's going to stop dropping balls, all that stuff. I mean, I think Kansas City actually will win by more than seven. They'll only win with the help from the Zebras again. That's it. That's the only way they can win a game is with the help from the Zebra. That sounds like a bitter um, oh, God. fan of you're, the... You turned of, into that the, guy already? Playoffs! Las, Ve- <laughs> Las Vegas Raiders right there. Well, oh, the, just, oh, the best team, team, team in our division. Opinion. Best team in our division always gets all the calls. Hey, oh. where, where did I just see so, you playing golf I'm saying at? It's football in general. Yeah. Um, I was up in Monterey. Yeah, you were all dressed up. I was like, damn, look at long boy Kevin. Got slacks on. That's not dressed up. That's just that's just golf attire, man. Oh yeah, when you're a fisherman, it's it's a little different. <laughs> by the way, wow. I just want to go on the record. I know it's frowned upon by the golf community, and maybe you can help me out on this, Kevin. But why aren't there more cargo shorts in golf? I mean, it's the perfect golf pant. <laughs> I don't know. You can wear whatever you want as long as you have clothes on. I understand that, but like, but like people, like there's certain places you could go play golf, and they'd be mm. like, mm, "He's wearing cargo shorts." Mm-hmm. When cargo yeah. shorts are the perfect pant for golf, you have so much stuff that you got to carry. Right, you got a ball, you got a tee, you got a ball repair tool, you got all these things you got to carry around. Your keys, your phone, your all that stuff. You need pockets when you're golfing. Thankful. Like, no, you don't. You put everything in your golf bag, and you have uh, your ball, your keys. Yeah, I don't want anything in, in my pockets. Pocket. I don't want stuff in my pockets when I'm swinging. I'll be swinging. All right, oh, Kevin, good luck to, this tin week. Tin cup. You're supposed to put everything in your right pocket. Yeah. That, 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 that no, you put, the left, you put a T in your left ear and all the change in your right That's pocket. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Sorry. T in your left ear and all the change in your right pocket. <laughs> There goes Lawn Boy, no, Kevin. No, no, no. Good luck to you this week. Uh, don't forget, you can play right now. KZOZ.com, the Red Zone Challenge, brought to you by Swing Time at Gary. Dairy Creek, we're giving away a free round of golf to Chalk Mountain, $25 to go to the Poor House, as well as brunch at the Sea Venture. 1000 bucks up for grabs, a big 50-inch TV and surround sound bar as well. If you can win the whole thing, play. Go to KZOZ.com. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.